Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous Female, and this is a follow-up to the Narcissistic Stealth Predator. Hi again, Ollie. Thanks for the video on the Stealth Predator you did for me the day before yesterday. After reading all the comments, I realized the obnoxious, semi-famous woman he had a crush on was probably being that way as he was talking about me to her. A few months after I looked him up and down with disdain and ignored him in the department store, this woman, the one who he had showed me the photo of on the second date, came into the store I was working came into the store I was working there as a buyer, and when I took her purchase and rang it up on the till, she looked at me with utter contempt and hate in her eyes. I had been very polite to her, and that encounter was quite puzzling. I put it down to her being an obnoxious narcissist. The thing that always prevented me from seeing the truth of this guy's evil was his social awkward shyness and superficial gentlemanly manners. As previously mentioned, this woman was semi-famous, and I always assumed... He preferred her to me because she knew that she knew famous people and had social status, whereas I had just been a university student with no connections or kudos. But looking back on it, she was quite an ugly looking woman. I'm just trying to work it all work out the twisted mess of it all. Please give me any of your anonymous give me any of your insight, anonymous female. <clears throat> Here's your problem as I see it, anonymous female, is that you, I think, are making the mistake of putting value in your vagina where you're even worrying about this. Here's the thing you need to understand about dudes like this and guys in general, okay? And this has been, this has been said for years. It doesn't matter how good-looking a woman is, how famous she is, how pretty she is, how beautiful she is, how smart she is, how complete package there is, she is. There is a guy somewhere who's sick of her bullshit. Sick of listening to her, sick of looking at her, wants to, wants to conquer something else. That is the general nature of guys like this and a lot of guys in general. You cannot... Waste your time trying to figure out why this this guy is, you know, what, what her issue is now. Listen, <clears throat> doesn't matter how semi-famous, famous, popular, not popular, ugly, pretty she is, okay? It's women seeing women as competition. Women seeing women as competition. That's how they, that's how these women are that's who he targets what you have to make sure is like don't let this guy don't let this guy like 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 occupy so much of your time in your past he isn't worth it like he was just this casual hookup okay that was he was just playing typical narc predator mind games with you Okay, the reason he was able to even get her in the first place is because she's damaged, because she has low self-esteem. And I understand in your first letter, I, I read it wrong, that he was tall, tall or not short, and I, I got it. He was trying to make himself, but that's what he's doing. He's trying to make himself into, into this into this this shy meek thing and he's really a predator looking for weak women to snap down on she's a weak woman she sees you as competition and she'll see you as competition for life that's how these things go that's why i say a lot of these women who think through their vaginas they don't progress past the high school lunch table the competition never ends don't be like them. Move on past this because the whole situation really isn't, doesn't seem like it's all that worth it. So I hope that helps. 
Thank you, uh, thank you again for another contribution and a follow-up story. I really appreciate it. Anonymous female, thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.